Hey YouTube, it's Taylor. Uh, I'm printing a part with the E3D Super Volcano nozzle and I wanted to just show off what it looks like uh, when it's printing. These are, uh, I think it's about 1.44, I'm using a 1.2 millimeter nozzle and 3 millimeter filament. Um, with the 1.2 millimeter nozzle, I believe I'm printing, based on E3D's recommendations, a 1.44 millimeter wide tracks. 0.75 millimeter layer height, uh, 60 millimeters a second on the fast perimeters, and 30 millimeters a second on slow perimeters. Um, this is my TiVo Black Widow, and I've modified it with, of course, this much longer hot end. Um, I've added this printed fan shroud, which I'm not using right now. Um, and then the key thing is I've got a bed probe um, hidden back in there, a BL Touch, a genuine BL Touch. Um, and um, VL Touch is great, by the way. Um, but you can see really thick layers here. Um, this print bed is 350 millimeters in the longest direction, the, the width there. Um, uh, so you can see this is a really big part. I started printing this part only a few hours ago. Um, it's kind of late evening, I maybe started it four hours ago or something. It's gonna go for a few more hours. I mean, this part is this part is huge um, it's for a robot at work. Um, and then I've got a 10 kilogram spool of filament here, so that's really cool. That's from Push Plastic. Uh, really good stuff. Pushplastic.com. Not sponsored. I just like the product. Um, and then this is a new encoder circuit board that I got. Um, these are the encoders that I use on Rover, and this goes to the VESC motor controller. But then I've also been using the O-Drive motor controller, and it has a slightly different interface. Um, so on this one, I'm using the step direction output, and this is SPI output. Um, but really, step direction is totally sufficient for what I need, and it works the O-Drive out of the box. Um, <coughs> so I'm going to build another Skittles robot, and I'm going to use the O-Drive. Skittles is two-wheel drive, and the O-Drive is two channels, so it's perfect for a single O-Drive. It'll make it really simple. Um, Skittles is the robot that I designed and, and took out to Mauritius when I taught the robotics class in March 2018. Um, <clears throat> but I left the robot at the school so the students could work on it, uh, which they did after I left. Um, but uh, I'd like to have a Skittles again, so I'm going to build, build that. But I just wanted to show how fast the super volcano is. Um, I don't necessarily have, you see my retraction settings are not ideal. You see the stringing on the right side of that opening a little bit. And yeah, I, I think my print settings leave a lot to be desired here. I am using the E3D Titan extruder as well as the super volcano hot end. Um, but um, yeah, I'm not sure what I would need to do to improve the quality of this, but I do know that this printer's motion system is also really poor, um, and that's going to be part of my problem. But uh, at any rate, I'm really satisfied with it. Um, and, you know, you can just print gigantic parts. Um, that's with the E3D Super Volcano. Um, again, not sponsored, just a video, or just, just a part that I... Uh, I really like. E3D makes really good products. Um, I also used the E3D Volcano on my other printer and used an E3D Volcano on this printer until I upgraded to the Super Volcano. Uh, yep, thanks for watching.